Hi, I'm Dawson and today we're going to talk about what I think Jigglypuff's matchup spread is in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Starting with the characters, Puff definitely beats in 70, 30 or better. Roy definitely has some stuff in the matchup with the reverse up Bs you have to watch out for, but if the Puff knows how to escape the setups and effectively camp with the lead by circle camping the matchup, it becomes very hard for Roy, but a skilled Roy can take Hungrybox to the game 5 last suck on that play. Mewtwo has almost nothing going for him in this matchup outside of a kill throw off up throw, but it is difficult to get a grab in general. It is very easy to rest Mewtwo or juggle him forever with up air, eventually leading to drill off smash from the sad Mewtwo. Pichu is kind of like Pikachu, but just worse in the fact that they're in a matchup where optimally the Jigglypuff should just circle count the Pichu, doing damage to yourself on a lot of your moves really hurts. Up smash killing really early is the only thing keeping this matchup from being impossible for Pichu. Zelda is a great test of the Jigglypuff's spatial and patience, but once the Puff gets good enough to make it out of round 1 pools, this matchup is very trivial similar to Mewtwo where juggling is really strong and there are no kill setups outside of back air and forward air. Kirby has a bunch of smaller things that work in the matchup decently, but his lack of kill setups makes this matchup insanely difficult to make a comeback in outside of straight back air or up air at high percent, and Kirby has a hard time approaching Jigglypuff almost anywhere on the stage. Ness, similar to Kirby, has the same problem where he has a hard time approaching, but he can surprise Puff with strong combos with back air and up air, but if Puff has the lead, approaching again is insanely difficult. Bowser Jigglypuff is probably the only matchup here that should be impossible, but this is coming from the guy that has lost the game to a Bowser in a netplay tournament. Bowser just has no kill setups, requires like 8 different hard reads to take a stock, and even then he's just combo food and dies from one hit from Jigglypuff to up air and back air. As for the characters Jigglypuff beats 65-35 or better, Samus has a lot of big damage moves and ways to kill through grab and through down air tech chasing, but if Jigglypuff gets a stock lead, the comeback potential is very hard. Any mistake on shield by Samus is an instant rest, forcing Samus to follow the Puff's lead on the pace of the matchup, which is never good for any character. Ganon is similar to Bowser, he has to land hard reads to get a stock, but he has better hard read moves and has to land significantly less of them. Unlike most of Puff's good matchups, getting in on Ganon is the main way to beat him as upper juggles, not even into rest, kill Ganon almost anywhere at any time, not to mention Edgeard is virtually unrecoverable. Mario definitely has one of the better neutrals versus Jigglypuff of his tier, relies on Smash X too hard to get a kill, which ultimately leads into Puff completely camping out Mario. Puff can essentially whiff punish every one of Mario's moves, but Puff definitely has to play smart around the Smash decks. DK essentially gets to contest Puff in neutral back here, but that is really all he has going for him. Cargo thrown to up air is a solid confirm in certain situations, but lack of any main tools in neutral allows Puff to run over DK. If the Puff gets a hard read on back air timings and edge guards DK forever. The links are very weird versus Jigglypuff. Kami thought it was good answers, such as when Armada and Axe tried it versus Hungrybox, but they both have weaknesses that Puff exploits hard. Big Link struggles when Puff can lock him down, and is susceptible to many rest setups like up air and up slow rest. Young Link has a hard time making a comeback for Jigglypuff, the, the greater mobility allows Young Link to time out Jigglypuff more effectively with the projectile game. Due to Young Link's weight, Jigglypuff's back air and nair hit like trucks, and eventually Young Link will just die to straight aerials when Link would not. Pikachu is the worst high tier versus Jigglypuff due to his inability to find reliable kill setups outside of up smash reads. Similar to Mario, Jigglypuff can play in a way where, where Pikachu can never land enough smash, forcing Pikachu to play Puff's game on the platforms, and due to the lack of damage on his moves, will eventually lose. Game Watch, another character that people have had success with Jigglypuff, but due to his shield and lack of L canceling on half his moves, it forces Game Watch to play a very stiff playstyle that Puff can exploit. Up till and drill a dominant Game Watch outside of his life shield, and allows Jigglypuff to continuously pressure Game Watch outside of up at his shield, which, if red, can get a rest or an up air. Game Watch does have down throw Nair and Fair in the matchup, but the cons definitely outweigh the pros. For the characters that do alright versus Jigglypuff, the 60-40 tier. Doc's down throw Fair and Smash X are really strong confirms in the kills, and allows Doc to sh shine in many ways Mario couldn't. Some of the, the things that made Mario better, however, like his recovery are exposed against Jigglypuff, Doc has a really hard time doing so. If Doc can wall out effectively with pills and Nairs, this matchup is not terrible, but if the puck gets in on Doc, Doc is surely in trouble. Luigi's mobility on his wave dash allows him to whiff punish better than any other character talked about so far. As it comes off a of wave dash, allows Puff to stuff out Luigi's approaches and eventually knock him off stage for an easy edge guard. 
Luigi has a hard time coming down, but his pressure on his shield potential for up B and up smash kills makes Puff have to respect him until Puff can land a crouch, cancel rest on all of Luigi's moves at low damage. Peach's thought generally be much worse than this, as many Peach is giving up on the matchup entirely, but Peach's like Polish and Lod show that Peach does have some stuff in this matchup. Peach really struggles against Puff's auto cancel back air, but against aggression, Peach's defensive is relatively solid with narrow shield and crouch cancel down smash. If Puff ever gets a rest, the game is almost certainly over, as Peach is one of the worst rest punishes of the viable characters. Ices are also thought to be generally much worse than this, but with Slug's innovations in the matchup, with his usage of backer and ability to protect Nana, the matchup isn't completely horrible. Ices wave dash, similar to Luigi, is a huge threat for Puff, but Puff's kill setups on Ice Climbers are almost endless, and Puff with the lead is almost certainly a lost game for Ices on the larger stages. As for the characters Puff might lose to, or go even with, the 50-50 and 55-45 tiers. All these characters go back and forth on how I think Puff does against them, but Yoshi definitely has a case for this tier. Yoshi can force Puff to play his game a lot of the time and can't truly Puff back. A lot of normal kill setups simply don't work, forcing the Puff to be more creative and play a war of attrition. Yoshi has a lot of crazy egg setups and tech chases, but definitely struggles when Puff chooses her angle of attack correctly. Sheik is a character that is only getting better against Jigglypuff over time after Pup has mainly started playing Fox against Jigglypuff players, with players like Crudo, Ben, and JFlex innovating in the matchup. Sheik gets blown up if Puff finds her opening from an up tilt or not bear, but Sheik has a great ability to wall out Jigglypuff and essentially camp her out unless Puff reads her landing. Reliable kill setups off grab and off grounded moves like down tilt makes the higher percentages more bearable than the rest of the characters in this tier. Falcon has the highest potential of any character in the game to blow up Jigglypuff with the amount of different combo trees uh, with neutral air, up air, knee, and stomp. If Falcon gets his game started or even wall out with back airs, the Jigglypuff has a hard time gaining momentum or a grass back on the neutral. Falcon dies very easily, however, versus Puff, even without rest, but rests at low damage and early swings or early games swing the matchup into Puff's favor. Falco, similar to Sheik, has a great neutral versus Jigglypuff. Especially when Falco has the higher percentages, but Falco struggles with the amount of ways that he can die early at the lower percentages. Falcon, could shi Falco can shine on chases like Yoshi's Story thanks to his low stealing, and get revenge on Jigglypuff, but if Puff has proper defense, it's hard for Falco to continuously get setups into a kill, and forces him to outstamp a Jigglypuff, which usually ends with the sound of a down B. The two characters that definitely Jigglypuff loses to, 60-40. Fox is the perennial F Jigglypuff counter with HBox fighting Fox in almost every top 8, and the matchup is as bad as it sounds in my opinion. Jigglypuff has to make a lot of hard reads in order to land her big openers, or hope that her opponent plays bad if they do not pan out. Fox's Nair and Back are a great way to suppress J Puff's neutral and forces Puff to play very reserves. Fox has some of the best answers of pressure on shield with Blade Dash Jab out of shield or Shine out of shield and attempted Tomahawk grabs. Not to mention his skill setups are numerous and reliable with an air up smash, jab up smash, and up throw up air. Marth is probably a surprise to see right next to Fox, but Marth almost does as well as Fox against Puff. Marth is probably the best character versus Puff in neutral thanks to his nair and fair, forcing Puff to play a more grounded playstyle in order to strictly not lose to those aerials. Puff can manage to get in on Marth after a while and pressure his shield well with down airs and threatening of grabs. The edge guarding on Puff's end is pretty strong if the Puff has flow charts made, but if not, there's almost no reliable way to kill Marth. Grab confirms from Marth and the ability to grab Crouching Puff makes it so all of Puff's movement and aerials have to be intentional and there's no wasted inputs. That is it for my Jigglypuff matchup chart. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, leaving a like, and commenting on what you thought of my matchup chart and if you agree with my, my opinion. And uh, let me know what video you want to see next. If you have not checked out uh, my other videos, like my three things to do versus Jigglypuff series, consider checking them out as well. Have a good one.